rapid fire AFC playoff picture. Chiefs and Jags, who do you trust more to get the number one seed? They're both sitting at eight and four. The uh, Kansas City Chiefs are in the third spot after their loss to after the Green their, Bay. Who they lose to? Uh, after they lost Green to Green Bay. Bay. <laughs> Jordan Love looking decent too. Yeah, that's another is. another exemplist that we'll do. Yeah, I had a, a brain fart moment there for a second. And then uh, Jacksonville, who was down to eight and four after their loss to Jake Browning, who <laughs> lit them up. If you fuck squint, up, bro. If you squint, kind of <laughs> looks like Joe Burrow a little bit. If you squint, <laughs> look, you just flip the number upside down. You know, exactly. <laughs> flip the number upside down. Six turned to a nine. Now, when I look when I look at Chiefs and Jags, just body of work tells me Chiefs are gonna be there at the end. Jags just dealt, got dealt two. Two tough cards on Monday night. Christian Kirk, who's been, I think, their best receiver this year. First play goes down with the groin injury. Hobbles off. Looks not good. We'll see how long and, and what the severity is on the growing. And then everybody saw that ankle twist get stepped on. Uh, Trevor Lawrence's ankle got, you know, blown up. Who took a long-ass walk to the locker room, by the way. No cart in Jacksonville. Just, like, long-ass walk. Two trainers. Let's see if we can walk this off. Um I'm worried CJ Beathard. Okay. Backup. Sure. Like get you out of a pinch. Like, like we saw um, come in and play competent. And that last little two minute drive that they had there to, uh, to kick the field goal to send it to overtime. But I'm, I'm trusting Mahomes. Like I'm trusting Mahomes. I'm trusting Andy Reid. I'm trusting Travis Kelsey, even though they don't look like they've looked in years past. I like Rasheed Rice. I think he could be a, a, a really good player in this league. They need him to take you know, that next step. But when I look across the, the weapons, I'm, I'm probably going to lean Kansas city just because of coach and quarterback. All right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. And we'll see how long Trevor Lawrence is out. They look like a pretty painful injury, but at least they're just saying it's an ankle sprain for now. So I think, I think based on how that looked in real time, that's not a bad outcome for, for Trevor yeah, Lawrence and the Jaguars. For, what, for what actually looked like it happened. Yeah. Uh, and last one, Talk about the number one seed in the AFC. Who is scarier, the Dolphins or the Ravens once you start getting to the playoff picture? That's a tough one. The beautiful thing <laughs> is, I think in about three weeks, we're going to be able, or three or four weeks, I'm trying to think of when that game is. Miami versus Baltimore. I think second to last game of the season, they play yeah, each other. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. What a game. Um, right now, man, I, I love what Miami's been doing. Um, the problem is when Miami faces a team, that is a real legit contender. They seem to not have the juice that they have against bad teams, right? They're great at taking out the trash against the commanders, against the jets, against, you know, name whatever garbage team that they're playing. But when you've seen them play the bills get blown out, when you saw them play the chiefs, their offense got snuffed. You saw them play Philly and Philly just said, all right, we're going to play big boy football and you're not going to be able to do the things that you do uh, against our defensive line. Hassan Reddick had 15 sacks. I think he's still getting sacks from the Dolphins game counted towards him. And then now you're going to see him play Dallas and you're going to see him play Baltimore. Those two are the tests for me right now. If, if it were me, I think right now I trust Baltimore more because because their defense, when they've played teams that are good, they've absolutely waxed the Lions' ass. Um, I'm going to look really quick the Ravens' schedule because I'm trying to see beating the Bengals without Joe Burrow. They, they beat the Texans game one. Like they haven't really played anybody, right? Like they've been feasting on bad teams. They did Seahawks beat the shit out of the Lions though. Beat the shit out of the Lions. That's the one. There's two wins that stand out is Lions and Seahawks. Right now I'm taking Baltimore. Um, I know people in Miami are going to be bad, but until Miami wins a game against a legitimate contender, which should be coming against Dallas and against Baltimore, I'm going to take Baltimore. Yeah. I know they've, they've had some lapses on defense, but I think that's still a defense I'll probably trust the most in football right now, just in terms of the talent, the coaching. Like Mike McDonald is definitely going to be someone's head coach next season. Um, Roquan Smith's been a godsend. Kyle Hamilton has developed into like a – pterodactyl of defensive destruction. How out is he there. six four in the in the backfield in, in the secondary? Like <laughs> like how? Dude. And he's just making plays. Six four, two twenty, running with slot receivers, blitzing, playing man coverage, playing the post as a free safety. Like it makes absolutely no sense. Uh 
And that's that's just like the Ravens draft strategy. I feel like in the first round, just like eh, don't don't overthink it. We saw this guy be good for four years. Because I, dude, I remember even like there were some analytics folks that were like, oh man, like you you pick the center and a safety in the first round because they picked Tyler Linderbaum that year in the first round too. Like that's such a bad use of resources. And now Kyle Hamilton's like the best safety in the league. Tyler Linderbaum's a top five center. So like, ah, sometimes you just don't overthink it. Just keep it we moving. We kind of know what we're doing here in Baltimore, huh? <laughs> what do you think? We got Jack, we got Lamar, we got a couple guys. Like we're good. Zay Flowers, yeah. all Drew's right. team. Like we're good. They, they've missed on, like the only thing they've really missed on, I would say is like a couple wide receiver picks with, you know, Hollywood. Rashad Bateman's been a little shaky because he's been injured so much, but looks like you got it right with Zay Flowers at least.